Hello guys and welcome back to the channel. This is Wolf and I'm bringing you some more tech news. Okay. First story today is a YouTuber actually modified his GeForce RTX 2070 GPU to support 16 gigabytes of VRAM. So, YouTuber Vicon modifies his RTX 2070 uh, by replacing his 8 gigabytes of SK Hynix RAM with 16 gigabytes of Samsung GDDR5. So, I actually watched the video and it's a long and uh, tedious process which if you don't have this uh, specialist type equipment you won't be able to do it yourself so it's not a normal DIY project but you have to have a specialized knowledge to be able to do this stuff but as with all experiments of this nature you know it will require some form of, some form of expertise and uh, it will also come with a fair share of risks. So you have good news and you have bad news. First, uh, the card actually picked up as a 16 gigabyte card. It was also running the firmware benchmark on on his video. On his video, he showed that it was um. Uh, after it finished running any form of 3D application or GPU accelerated application, it would go to a black screen and then nothing. The system would just lock up, nothing could be done. And that is one of the downsides to modifying GPUs that weren't officially made to operate in certain parameters so here on this uh uh gpu z window you can see 16 gigabytes here of gddr6 samsung memory oh yeah earlier i said gddr5 sorry about that but you can actually see that the card is detected i wonder if he had to like modify any bios uh settings or something or load on a custom bias for it to actually run but i didn't see anything or maybe because the the entire video was in russian i didn't really catch all the info that was in it so this article along with a link to his video would be in the description so you guys can go check that out next rtx 3070 GPU tested in MSI laptops. So, the RTX 3070 Max Q laptop from MSI. Let's see if I can find the actual benchmarks. Yes, here. So, this there's been this uh, news going around about Max P and Max Q uh, marketing names. We've only heard about um, the Max Q name from NVIDIA. Max Max P was a OEM uh, derived brand that manufacturers of these uh, laptops would differentiate between their high performance part and their lower performance part. So you can see that the the Max P version is thirty one percent faster than the power limited version which is the max q and you can see this is the max q's uh, performance with 17352 and the max p version with 22231 so you can see there's a whole lot of uh, performance being left on the table by drastic power limitations so you guys 
need to keep that in mind when you're purchasing a, a gaming laptop. Whether if you're going to use it to game or for professional work, you might need the extra horsepower. So it will be good to have this information in your in the back of your your mind. Next, Nvidia. Nvidia to start seeding GeForce RTX 3060 review samples on February 19th. So since Nvidia has announced that they are releasing the RTX 3060 GPU. They said uh, late February, which is a vague enough release window. You didn't get a specific day. But since we're getting uh, a date now, we can speculate that it, the actual release of this card would be in the window of February 19th towards the end of the month. It could drop any day, any day after the 19th. So you guys, you gotta be sharp on this one to get this GPU before the scalpers and their bots do. Because I, I heard these bots, these scalpers have thousands of accounts with bots re at the ready to strike when these GPUs launch. And it's hella scary. So enough of that. Next, NZXT creates the RTX 3080 powered sneakers. So, can it run Crisis? Ah, guys, this is basically a gimmick. If it actually works, that's good. But why? Why would someone do this? Why in the right mind? Who in the right mind said they would do this? Ah, I hear they say sneakers master race at NZXT drip. <laughs> okay, guys, enough of that. On to the next one. Because this is too much. More GPU news from AMD. AMD is allegedly preparing Navi 31, a GPU with dual ATCU chiplet design, and is about to enter the world of chipsets with its upcoming GPUs, just like it has been doing so with. Zen generation of processors. Having launched a Radeon RX 6000 series lineup based on Navi 21, Navi 22, the company is seemingly not stopping there. To remain competitive, it needs to be in the consistent, in the constant process of innovation and development which is reportedly true once again. According to the current rumors, AMD is working on RDNA 3 GPU design on chiplets. The chiplet design is supposed to feature two ATCU AP compute unit dies, just like ones found inside the RX 6900 XT graphics card. So guys, if if this uh, rumor is actually true, we can look forward to exponential increase in graphical performance when this GPU actually releases. But I'm not sure when AMD is planning to even release this card, uh, let alone announce it. So let's keep our fingers crossed that there's some semblance of truth in this rumor. And hopefully we can get it when it actually drops. So next, Silverstone introduces Night Jar, the NJ700 fanless PSU. So this is an 80 plus platinum 
no 80 plus titanium power supply 700 watts of power and it's totally fanless because it's totally fanless it doesn't make any noise but some persons might have concerns about how cool it runs when it's under full load well as you know most of the big tech youtubers will get this uh, power supply to review and they will be testing it putting it through its paces to see if it can uh, run in a day-to-day -day system yet so that's all the information we got on that next is Gosin hopefully I pronounce it that Gosin a Chinese uh, subsidiary of Lenovo has recently published a video showing how they modded their Ryzen notebook to run a GeForce RTX 3090 from the NVMe slot Gosin used their Xiao Jin Air 14 laptop with a Ryzen 5 4 600U 4600U processor to demonstrate the system's internal M.2 NVMe SSD was removed and then M.2 PCIe expansion cable was attached allowing them to connect the RTX 3090 finally the laptop housing housing was modified to allow the PCIe cable to exit the chassis and and a desktop power supply was attached to the RTX 3090 for power so in these images you can see how it was used and it is actually playing cyberpunk 2077 on it they got a a 3d mark score of 14,008 and you can see right here how the cable leads from under the laptop to this like makeshift acrylic housing that's holding like a a riser for the GPU I'm telling you these people do some outrageous things with tech it's really really fascinating next guys the Galaxy GeForce RTX 3090 Hall of Fame PCB pictured features massive VRM configuration. I know, guys. Most times I look at these PCBs, I just came to uh, admire how oh, everything is laid out and uh, it's just clean. Just look, just the look of it. I don't really pay attention to all the technical technical idiosyncrasies of the card and how it was put together because some of it I can't even comprehend myself but just looking at this technological marvel it's just fascinating yeah okay guys I was talking about NVIDIA to drop Max-Q and Max-P de different <laughs> differentiators in mobile GPU specifications. Earlier I was talking about uh, an MSI laptop that had two different um, performance metrics. They were basically using the RTX 3070 mobile versions in these laptops. But one was a Max-Q variant, one was a Max-P variant. 
Max P variant was performing better because it has less power limitations compared to the Max Q. So with NVIDIA dropping the differentiators, it will be more confusing for consumers to differentiate between which is the better performing machine when they're making a purchase. And I somewhat think this is a kind of, kind of like fishy or shady. To not let the consumers know which device would perform better and uh, allowing them to make a, a purchasing mistake when they could get the better option even if it's a if it costs a little more or even giving them the correct information so that if they even want to go with the lower performing option it would be a choice that they made consciously and not because they didn't have enough information so that's my point of view on it thank you guys for watching uh if you like the video you can leave a like you can share you can subscribe leave a comment and uh if you heard any background noise i'm very sorry about that this is what i can do right now hopefully things get better in the future and i can bring you higher quality content this has been wolf thanks for watching